Hi folks, it's Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. Here's another quick video about SolidWorks. This one's about Loft. Loft is where I usually start my SolidWorks journey with my students because it's a fun one and it happens really fast. Loft basically takes a bunch of cross sections. So if you imagine these flat shapes as cutting through the object, and if you can imagine an object that looks like those cross sections, when I cut it horizontally over and over again, it looks like that. That's how we, we come up with a loft. We use this to make vases at first because it kind of doesn't matter what shapes you choose as long as they're kind of evenly spaced out and relatively the same size. It'll make something kind of cool. Um, you can also use loft with guiding curves, but that's a lot harder to do. Let me show you what this looks like. In the features menu, here's loft. And you can even see a little picture of what it looks like. You're just sort of skinning the, the shapes that you're giving it. So if you click on two profiles, any two profiles that it can, it'll connect those two profiles. Um, but by default, it just does the easiest, quickest path. So, um, so if you have two that are right above each other, that are the same shape, it's just going to look like an extrude. Um, if you're going to use a guiding curve, I have this curve here. I'm like, actually, I don't want it to just go straight. I want it to go around the curve. I click here on guiding curves and I say, I want this curve. So there's one loft example. The one that we do in class is a little bit more complicated. We usually attach all of these things like this. Um, so the way we do it is um, we use loft and then we select each one of these in order. Um, I'm going to do it wrong for a second here. Uh, it's not wrong, but it's different. If I just say I want to connect these two, that's pretty basic. And I can hit check mark on that. And then I can even pre-select this face right here and choose loft again. Some of my students do this accidentally, so I'm just trying to show you what this looks like. If I loft one of these sections at a time, from one section to one section, what's going to end up is I'm going to have a lot um, harder lines in between them. So, and not only just these black edges, but they'll actually, you know, change directions a little bit more. So if I choose this face and this edge, and then I can hit check mark, and then I do it again, I'm going to go this face and this sketch, check mark you end up with a solid that is very segmented. What I prefer to do for a vase is I prefer to select them all at once because then what it does is it actually smooths those transitions for you um, so that you end up with a much smoother final product. So I think I might have accidentally done that in this middle step here, but that's one version. So that's a lot of lofts, right? And you can see there's a lot of lofts here. But if I back these up by doing Control Z on the keyboard, there we go. So let's loft them all at once and let's see the difference. Loft, okay. And I'm just going to click on these. And where you click actually matters because these green dots are connected by twisting. So if I go further around the edge here, it's going to twist in the middle there. See that? So if I don't want to twist, I can drag that green dot back and it creates a different shape. So this is obviously a planned twist here. And on shapes that have vertices, you really, I think, can only choose vertices here. So that looks pretty good. See, it's a much different shape. So let me hit the check mark on that. That's a much different vase than the other one that I had. It's a lot more organic looking. Um, if, if I edit this feature here and we go back into the loft, if you add too much twist, you can cause some trouble. So these vases we eventually hollow out. So if you give it a twist like this, this in, inside part here is not going to be able to be hollowed out. And if you twist it way too much, let me add some more twist going on here. What you'll find is you'll end up with something that won't actually loft at all. And you can tell because what will happen is the preview will, will disappear. And that means that if you try and hit go here, it's going to have a rebuild error. So be careful not to twist too much. Be careful that you're not going across your, your loft with those green dots. If you go up the side of the, the loft, it's going to have a better um, likelihood of being able to loft. So that is loft. And if you want to know some more videos uh, about extrude or sweep or uh, revolve, go ahead and watch my other videos.